All right, well, this week, students from D.C. are competing in the 2024 Summer Special Olympics. It sounds like a fun time. Today, our meteorologist, Michaela Lucero, went to Catholic University to check out the competition. I want to go fast so I can win, though. The 2024 D.C. Special Olympics Summer Games yeah! are on. You know, when you get the diagnosis of a disability, people tell you what you can't do. But Special Olympics D.C., we tell them everything they can do. Over 400 athletes from 40 different D.C. public schools compete this week in the Games. Yeah! Students train for events like track and field, volleyball, and soccer. Yeah! Tell me about your training, Malik. How did you train for today? Uh, well, I trained today. Okay, so before we start the championship, when we in school, we just did a little bit more practice volleyball. We did softball throw, javelin, and running in the track. So we did the practice training until we get until we came here. I feel good. DC Special Olympics provides kids with a safe place to play sports and to learn valuable social and emotional skills. Yeah. We really see them blossom. We really see them come out um, to gain confidence, uh, to improve their motor skills, improve their speaking ability. You were so come fast out there. there. Yeah, I know. I stretch. Awesome. <laughs> I can tell. The program is completely free for participants, and from here, athletes can qualify for the national and world games. Our athletes really are able to open up and be able to realize and gain the confidence to do more in, in, uh, in their school and go on to work and in the community. Austin Edwards. From Catholic University, I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero, WUSA 9. One, two, three, Special Olympics! So great, and the fun doesn't stop there. D.C. Special Olympics has games for each season, offering more opportunities for the students to qualify for the national and world games.